Hey guys, I'm Tim with bleepinjeep.com. In today's video, we will be taking a look at and installing a cowl air induction system from Trailhead Off-Road on Project Green Machine. First thing we need to do is to remove the factory air box. So let's start with that. One of the cool things about this kit is it eliminates your factory air box. This whole unit is gonna disappear and this takes up a lot of space. So with this out of the way, you'll be able to have more space. Um, you could put a second battery here. I may do something like that. You could put some kind of a storage box here and keep some tools in it, uh, onboard air, whatever. You know, the, it just it eliminates this. So that's uh, one cool thing about this system. We're gonna be doing some drilling over here in a second. So with the throttle body wide open like that, I wanna protect it with something. Just make sure we don't get any metal shavings down there. The latex glove will work just fine for that. All right, let's take a look and see what we have in the box here. This is the tube, obviously. And uh, the production model of this kit, this will actually be a black powder coated tube, but the one I got is polished aluminum and it did not come with fingerprints all over it. That was from me. Uh, it was actually packaged very nice and I unwrapped everything to check it out and get my fingers all over it. So we have a tube, we have a relatively small cone filter and it's small because this has to fit inside the cowl uh, between the firewall and the dashboard, but that should be uh, plenty of airflow coming through there regardless. This is a 90 degree elbow. This bracket is what secures the tube and filter to the firewall of the Jeep. Four self tappers and a bunch of clamps. Let's go ahead and start with the bracket here and figure out our placement for that. This is gonna go right here. And as we can see, there's a bunch of stuff in the way. Factory wiring harness, this stuff and this bracket is gonna to have to come out. So we'll have to relocate this somewhere. Uh, so let me get this stuff out of the way and we'll be able to lay this thing out. So keep in mind that this unit is for off-road use only and there are, this is not a smog approved unit for the state of California if that pertains to you. All right, with all your wiring out of the way, and start by placing the bracket where it goes just so you get an idea of where you'll need to punch a hole. So I got a couple ideas to make this sit flatter. Let's take this over to the table, adjust these bends a little bit and see if we can't get this thing to fit just a little bit tighter. So let's see if I bent this in the right spot. This is the bend that I just added uh, to this bracket here. And now it should be somewhere about like that. So as you can see, that conforms um, a little better than it did. So that should be perfect. What I'm gonna do now is uh, drill the self-tappers, fasten this in into place, trace this hole here, and then unbolt this whole thing and hole saw big old fat hole right into the firewall there. We're in. And then I can kind of adjust things, make sure it's a square. There we go. Now that the bracket's all bolted up, I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and trace kind of the angle that the tube is gonna go in here. And this hole is actually an oval because the bracket is angled. Uh, if it were a round hole in this bracket, your tube would have to come in at the same angle as this, and it doesn't, it comes straight in. So I'm gonna hold my Sharpie uh, kind of at the angle the tube would go and just make a real rough representation of what that's gonna look like. You definitely want to be aware that uh, you don't want to go too far 
with your pilot bit or your hole saw because uh, directly underneath this section is your heater core. And if you drill into your heater core, uh, I have a detailed video on what that entails to replace, so be sure to check that out because it's uh, it's not a walk in the park. Ah, yeah, she got away from me. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Well, that's what the inside looks like. Sweet. So what I'm gonna do is put this um, back lined up here where the holes are and then just with the sharpie mark a few points here to represent my maximum potential opening so I just went and traced kind of the the inside of this bracket as you can see here and that's that sharpie represents the most that I'm willing to cut out of here and the bracket will still be able to cover this and you won't be able to see anything a trick for getting these corners real nice is to take a drill bit and drill before you cut uh, some nice large holes. So I'll start with a quarter inch and then go to three eighths. Then I'll just take a zip wheel and connect my holes and I'll end up with some uh, rounded corners as long as I can cut in a straight line. Should cut more out of the top here but I'm stubborn so let's so now I've traced another round area up here and with this die grinder I'm gonna start uh, eating away at this and going all the way up to that sharpie line and after I do that I absolutely should be able to get the filter in there now the moment of truth here let's see if we can Negotiate this filter into place. So I squish it a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure where it's going to sit. Could end up right there. Um, in which case, it'd be pretty cool because it uh, will kind of hold itself in that in that groove. Now that the air filter is in place, I've placed the the uh, hose clamp here over it, and then I need to slip the bracket on over the tube. I'm just going to slide that up and out of the way and uh, work the tube into the air filter. Once the aluminum tube is inside the filter uh, far enough, we'll just reach down in here at the impact and tighten things up here delicately. With the hose clamp tightened around the filter, the next thing to do is to slide the bracket uh, into place here. This 90 degree elbow comes with the kit, and that is the next piece that we are going to put on. So let's make sure we slide our clamp onto the tube first. And let's walk this thing right onto the tube. And then I uh, took the bottom clamp, clamp off all the way, which just allowed me to uh, free things up because it was uh, uh, took quite a bit of effort to get that over the throttle body which is probably a good thing. It's a nice, uh, secure fit. So I'm definitely not worried about it uh, coming off or anything. All right, and all we gotta do is tighten these down, these two clamps. And then the last thing uh, to do is just to reconnect uh, the breather to this guy. And we'll obviously have to shorten that up a little bit. All right, guys, that's basically going to wrap up the installation of the Trailhead Off-Road Cal Induction Kit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's actually really secure. Look at that. thing doesn't move at all. And uh, a couple things I need to button up. Uh, this, uh, this guy here is displaced. This bracket is used to go right here, so it is displaced by this kit. And uh, I need to figure out where to remount that. Um, for now, this thing can jiggle around there, no problem. Um, but I might cut this tab off and uh, tack it onto this bracket or, or something. And then uh, zip tie my, my wiring harness back into place. One of the great things about this system is that it eliminates your factory air box over there. So there is really a lot of space created. 
Uh, if you're doing onboard air, you may relocate your battery to that side and put a compressor over here or a tank or something. It, it just gives you a whole bunch of options for uh, whatever uh, you may need to do. All right, guys, be sure to check out the description below for links um, to this product as well as to the Bleepin' Jeep site where you can find a special offer pertaining to this trailhead off-road induction system. Be sure to thumbs up, like, and share. I hope you learned something from this video and check these guys out. Because actually the video is not over yet. Let's fire this thing up. There we go. Yeah, I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm, I'm recording with my phone right now. Uh, let me put the phone a little bit closer. I'm over here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's not that loud. <laughs> it actually sounds kind of cool. Go out here and drive around a little bit without hitting anybody's cars. It's pretty busy at the shop this week. You just hear it go when the throttle first opens. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds cool when you stick your foot in it. All right, that's it. See you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.